Robbie Gears, this one's about having a shit. You like that, don't you? You like having a shit, don't you? Overwhelming pleasure as I discard feces at leisure, leaving a heaped measure of a special kind of treasure. No one needs the toilet for a while, because that's where I'm at for a while, with a great big smile and a great big pile that eases out with style. Rapid relaxation, sublime satisfaction and ground-shaking gratification through excrement extraction. You've seen 20th Century Fox displayed on your box, but this is 20th Century Feces, an assortment of putrid species sliding out my ass like skin on broken glass. It's more of a private function than watching television, but I'll drop you a reminder because the show will be a blinder and I wouldn't want you to miss it. Because you like getting fucking bills in the mail, don't you? It's called Mailbox Blues. Some guy called Bill always arrives unannounced to arrogantly agitate and aggravate with pointless pieces of powerless paper. Bill is one guy I just don't need as he babbles and baffles in his bureaucratic and bombastic, self sycophantic rigidly rehearsed rhetoric. I cannot comprehend his carefully calculated clusters of computer-controlled numbers and systematic sentences. What is it that he wants from me? Probably some confirmation that the current situation can reach an amicable solution under his ongoing conditions. Politely, positively, peacefully, I humbly ask of thee, my bestest buddy, Billy, to abscond with haste so that I can't taste the pasty human waste flowing freely from your feci-featured face. sexual intercourse with a partner but you know failing miserably yeah. and it kind of goes like this gazing through space in this crowded place our eyeballs embrace and I'm struck by the grace of your fine grained face with its ferocious features barking out at me like little canine creatures barricading your brain from any outstretched reaches after contemplation, I consider an invitation for possible communication, just like conversation to ignite stimulation. I saunter to your table, confident and stable, and quietly I inquire, Hey there, pretty sister, how'd you like a brand new mister? Nothing at all sinister, I'll just accept what you administer. Your reply is a snarl, I'm not that kind of gal, and even if I was, pal, I'd sure as heat and hell spit a spiteful spell to render you unwell, because you're fat and you smell. Your subtle rebuke renders me mute. You consider me less than puke and this sure ain't no fluke. It ain't nothing but the truth. Yeah. This scene has become a spectacle and my departure from this debacle it looks increasingly logical, although I give it one last vocal. Sweet as pretty lady, didn't mean to come across shady, just kind of thought that maybe you'd like to try for a baby. <laughs> Slowly but surely you expectorate, disintegrating my dreams of a date. A liaison will have to wait, because a phlegm filled face is my fate. <laughs> so anyway, to counteract that, this is about going out late at night and actually succeeding in picking up a partner of your choice. Yeah, we all like that. You like that, don't you? And it goes kind of like this. Looking at you, I'm thinking that could be me, but it's not, because I sit at the bar blowing thought rings into the air. They settle over your head like a halo, then gently disperse to fill the air with subtle ease. Your eyes look up and into mine with a golden glint and a silent sign that says, let's come together right now. I stand up solidly, not leaving to talk, then I turn and walk. You're only ten paces behind me, clackety clacking high heels on the darkened street. We find somewhere less public, then rip into each other with hunger and intensity. Our lust entwined like flowering vines We lie down and fuck While somewhere in the background a lone dog barks That's enough though, eh?
fuck, what else? Um, okay, here's one. I took a rummage through the wreckage of your wayward wants yesterday, today, tomorrow, and what you got sure ain't a lot. It sure ain't the pot at the rainbow's end. It's just a bland blend of carefully construed cavities and slapstick sensibilities that are sensitive to the clean because they're too obscene like a slave-ridden dream. You're an autopilot machine that can't remember where it's been and getting through to you is like unsticking glue. You just walk in the blues in your op shop shoes. And when I begin to listen on in, all I can find is the industrial hum of your mind. Mechanised pump and grind. Slipping into overtime. Leaving your smogs behind. One more. This one more. Before the Johos, as I said, my good friends the Johos, this one's uh, about playing the drums. For all you drummers out there. Oh, I can't be fucked. I can't even remember it actually. Can't play the beat. No, that'll do. You've all had enough, haven't you? Well, one more thing. I like the idea of having a belt of triumph. You know, a belt hanging up on the wall. So that any time you sort of claim a victory of any sort, you know, whatever that victory might be, you know, just like uh, just whatever you're into, really. If you think you're a winner, fucking take that victory. You know, so you've got this belt of triumph on the wall. So every relationship needs one. Just whenever you know you, your partner, you get into a trivial domestic with them, you just say, "Fuck, I'm not going to have to take that belt down again, am I? I'm running out of room to put notches in it." Yeah, you know that, don't you? <laughs> okay, that's all, folks. You like that, don't you? Right, here we go with the Johos.